Question 1. The installation of this passenger is safe. A. Dangerous. B. Ideal. C. The seat belt only plays its role fully if it is well properly adjusted. She must hold the shoulder and chest to rest on the solid parts of the body. Here, the belt being adjusted under the armpit, it is the abdomen, much more fragile, that is exposed. In addition, this passenger did not lift her headrest that is used to protect her neck from the rabbit blow. Its installation is therefore dangerous. Question 2. I arrive first at the scene of an accident. If I don't stop, I incur a fine of 75,000 euros. Yes. A. No. B. A five-year imprisonment. Yes. C. No. D. If I arrive first at the scene of an accident, I must stop as soon as possible, even if I am not involved. To continue my way and not notifying the emergency services is committing an offense of not assisting anyone in danger. If I commit this offense, I am liable to a fine of 75,000 euros and imprisonment for five years. Question 3. Getting started with an automatic gearbox vehicle requires time to adapt. Yes. A. No. B. Driving a car with a manual gearbox is more complicated than driving a car with an automatic transmission. But, if the driver is used to the manual gearbox, he can be destabilized when he has to drive a vehicle with an automatic transmission for the first time. In fact, he will have to know the positions of the lever and get used to the presence of two pedals instead of three. Question 4. In this situation, I will save more fuel. If I stop. A. If I slow down enough to avoid stopping. B. Located in this storage lane, I have to turn left. I will have to give way to the car in front. To save fuel, it is better to slow down enough now. So, I will turn without stopping, after crossing the car. This will avoid a stopping and restarting, which consumers energy. Question 5. An incorrect driving position can affect safety. For long journeys only. A. Or. Also for short journeys. B. An incorrect driving position is harmful for long journeys, because it increases the driver's fatigue. But, it can also greatly hinder the speed and accuracy of actions on orders. All this affects safety, even for short journeys. Question 6. This passenger is properly installed. Yes. A. No. B. This passenger has properly fastened and adjusted her seat belt, which holds her at the level of the shoulder and bones of the pelvis. Its headrest, with the high part at the head level, is well adjusted. This passenger is properly installed. Question 7. The most dangerous situation is in. Case number 1. Case number 2. In both cases, I have priority over the red car, which is on my left. In case 1, the white car, which meets a stop signs, and must give way to me. At the moment, it does not represent an immediate danger. At the risk level, the difference is in the position of the red car, which turns to its left. In case 1, it is well placed, because it has straight wheels. In case number 2, its front wheels are turned to the left. 
If it was hit by the car following it, it could be thrown to the left and collide with my vehicle. The most dangerous case is therefore number two. Question 8. An accident occurs in front of me. If I don't stop, I commit a crime. Yes. A. No. B. If an accident occurs in front of me, I must stop as soon as possible, even if I am not involved. Continuing my journey and not notifying the emergency services is committing an offense of not assisting a person in danger. If I commit this offense, I am liable to a fine of 75,000 euros and imprisonment for five years. Question 9. I will give way. To the pedestrian. Yes. A. No. B. To the black car. Yes. C. No. D. The light that concerns me is green. The pedestrian also has the green light since he is crossing the lane. But, after the refuge that separates him from my path, he will necessarily encounter a red light. As the black car is also stopped at the red light, I will not give way to either the pedestrian or the black car. Question 10. To overtake the cyclist, I can ride on the lane in. Case number. 1. Yes. A. No. B. Case number. 2. Yes. C. No. D. I will approach an intersection where I have priority. In case 1, the narrow line, which is a deterrent line, allows slow vehicles to be overtaken. So I can ride it to overtake this cyclist. In case number 2, the line is continuous. Its overlap is prohibited, except for overtaking cyclists. With sufficient visibility, I can ride this line to overtake this bike. 